before we get into the video guys as you know we're on the road to 1 million subscribers we're trying to be the second rocket league youtuber to reach 1 mil and this has been a dream of mine since i started youtube one that i never thought would be reachable but you guys have made it so clear to me that it's definitely possible you guys have shown me incredible support and you really want to see me reach this milestone so if you're one of the people that wants to see me reach it please go down below right now if you're not currently subscribed press the subscribe button and press the bell so you're always notified when i upload a video enjoy the video guys love y'all yo what is up guys in the last video we finished off at champion 2 division 1 so we're at 1308 mmr we exactly 192 mmr away from grand champ right now that's not too many games away if we're winning every single game that's not too far at all probably like three or four more episodes of road to grand champ and we'll be there so i'm pretty excited to see what we run into in the next couple of episodes like these lobbies are going to be pretty interesting and we'll see the increase especially in champ 3 how close it is to to low grand champ so yeah let's get into it let's see what we can do damn so we're not playing any champ twos yet this is still champ ones Hopefully in the next game we do at least. Might have to play two more games after this son, just to see. Have a good representation of what uh, Champ 2 looks like early. But that was a good read actually. Somehow these are better Champ 1s than the previous already. Like no one was reading stuff off the backboard like that quite yet. Let my teammate take. Good touch. Scatman's feeling it dude. I'll wait for the... The bounce off the wall. He's gonna have another touch, so I'll back off. He's gonna have one more, so I'll back off again. I know I can't beat him to any of those balls, and like I said in the last one, if they're closer to the ball than you are, you're not gonna beat him to the, the challenge. I go for the boost here. I trust my team. I shouldn't have trusted my team as much as I did, but it's okay. It's okay. Mistakes were made, dude. Mistakes were made. Scatman left. What? Alrighty. That was like a rage quit, so I have to 1v2. It was actually a rage quit. Yeah, I mean, my bad for believing you could hit the ball. <laughs> Why is he mad at me for that, dude? All right, we're going. We're going sweaty boat for the one v two here. One v two is two champ ones here. Let him touch that. I don't have any boost. Here. This is the hard part. Hardest part of like one v twos and one v threes is managing your boost. Honestly, just try not to get bumped like that. Like, this dude's really going that hard for bumps in a 1v2. Alright, man's stealing shot on me. We're playing goaded champ players. And of course, you have to 1v2 them. Let's save. Why are these guys so much better than other champ players you played? It's so weird. One more touch. There we go. Alright, this dude's sweating. I gotta sweat back, bro. I got it. I gotta do it. He's going for bumps and stuff in a 1v2. This is gonna be annoying. I could tell it's gonna be annoying, but. I thought just one more time. Should bait in one of them. Good touch from him. He almost killed me. That's all I gotta watch out about. The bumps gonna be the most annoying part of this. Can't wrap around this ball. I know that, so I'm just gonna leave for the boost. It's fine. I'll let him shoot this. Not a very good touch, but I'll wait. Yeah, I gotta watch out for the pumps, man. They're both going for bumps on me. <laughs> leave me alone. It's over one. Ooh, good save. Couldn't get it. Unfortunately. I was super focused. It feels weird because like I'm still not trying to go like too hard. But like I wanna win. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, I'm trying to find like an awkward balance of the two. Where it's not super obvious that I'm a smurf, but at the same time it's like <sighs> I also want to really win this. Because these guys are just going for bumps and it won't be too. <laughs> I'm gonna fake the kick off, try to get control, I guess to play. Alright, let's go for air dribble here. Just save, this guy keeps saving everything, dude. I don't think that's in. There we go. 
the guys everywhere, man. These are the best, best champ players that we've played by far so far. And of course, my teammate leaves instantly. It's like the boost most likely, so I can just try to bang this. I think I might have caught him off guard. Again, dude, it still works. It still works like a charm. If you're good enough to know how to just get bangers from anywhere, man, people just don't expect them. Are we going to catch a dub against sweatiest champ players right now? This is quality content. No, dude, I went for the, the pinch. Cooksy wooksy pinch. Good touch from him. Try to bop me still, dude. Are you kidding me? Went for the boost here. There we go. Sorry, I was kind of quiet there. I was trying my absolute best not to get killed. <laughs> Why is he so bad? <laughs> You're so bad. This is this is actually such good content. I'm actually kind of happy that that happened. Surely I don't lose the kickoff goals though. This is quality content, man. I I can't complain. Thank you, Scatman, for leaving it on me, for not believing in me, because I had too much trust in you. Okay, we got to wait on that. I'll take the boost. Actually, if he messes up his touch. Turn on this. Let's see what he does. Got the boost here. Another banger of a shot. There we go. I'm just gonna put a, a sad face just to see what he does. Oh. Wait, is he talking to his teammate? I think he might be talking to his teammate. I thought he was calling me bad. I thought he was mad at me for beating them. Oh, I tried to bump him. I'm chain dashing back. My first touch can be bad. My first touch again, probably not great. Another 50-50 here. Okay, I'm taking the boost. I'm gonna take this back. Oh my God, how did I get out of that? <laughs> So bad for sure, dude. There's no way this guy's not pissed right now. I don't flip, dude. There's no way I don't have a flip off that. There's no way, dude. How? That's 100% a flip. Oh, I guess I hit too early on my front wheels. Dude, this guy's so mad at his teammate. I thought he was mad at me. I thought he was calling me bad out of just pure salt. touch all right so we got that over with yeah scatman definitely should have left on me maybe he was having a bad day of previous ranked games and then he just figured oh i have another idiot teammate who just goes for mid boost for no reason whatsoever and meanwhile he was off the wall could have definitely hit that four he just missed five saves though at least i'm not a bum ha 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 you wish you were me but you're trash, so it's okay. Lamau, it's a Fortnite channel. Hold on. You want to be me so bad. That's so bummy. Okay, I'm not saying that word. Literally, a eh? R word. Original idea. Can't even insult me. You have a Fortnite channel. I don't have to. That speaks enough. Right. Never. He has a Fortnite channel. GG's, Jim. You're nuts. All right, so we got that out the way. <laughs> very very interesting i really did think that uh he was calling me bad 92k subs 192k well done good for him very very proud of that that guy um and good on him for not really trash talking too much uh i hope he wasn't the one who said you want to be me i really hope he wasn't the one who said that because that's a little egotistical <laughs> Just, just, in, just in the slightest. Uh, but either way, pretty solid game all around. Scatman made us have to 1v2 because he was mad for some reason. Uh, you know, that mistake goes both ways that got us scored on. 
um, like I said, it's more of me being like used to higher ranks and I, I have the trust that someone's gonna get that hit forward, but if you're trying to be safe, you shouldn't really be doing that. You should go rotate back to goal, so it is a mistake on both of us. Um, the bigger mistake is him just rage quitting after that, obviously. Uh, but we won the 1v2, and obviously you guys didn't learn much from that, but I hope you enjoyed the, the content. It was entertaining for me, at least. I hope it was entertaining for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, can't be two Division two. We got 22 points out of that. And the sad part is we would have lost so many points if we lost that 1v2. I, I know we would have, for sure. Uh, so hopefully we play champ two players now. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into the, the next game. All right, so we're playing with... Um, I'm pretty sure that's actually a diamond three player or a champ one player. And we have everyone else as champ twos in this lobby. I try to stay on this ball. Almost own gold. So I got the boost to rotate out here. I should be able to reach back to this. I'm not going to boost anymore because I'm already full speed. No need to panic for that either. Flick it over one. Try to flick it over the second. Teammate can touch this forward. I'll shoot if he can. Fine, I'll get around this ball. Good challenge from uh, the opponent there. That was really good. It's our first real taste of, of champ two now. Try to get one more time here. Just to pop that off the back. I'm not going to go for a double. Even though I probably could have. I know my teammate's going to want to go for that. So I don't want to get in his way. Wait back here. I'll play this off to the left side. I see my teammate's over there. So you can follow that up at least. Good touch. Good job to recognize that I was going to pass that as well. There we go. That was a good little pre-flip off the wall. I noticed my teammate's a lot more aware of what's going to happen. Like He was ready to turn on that ball as well. And that's um, a pretty like, weird pre-flip to hit. So he was actually ready for me to hit something like that, which is really good. And that's a good shot. So my teammate's pretty solid. I mean, so far, champ two looks a lot more solid. Like I can already tell the difference. It's pretty interesting to see. Like it's a super visible difference like right away. Like, look at this touch from that guy. That's perfect. Made my teammate panic. That's exactly what I was talking about. Good, powerful shot as well. But I know that guy's going to get beat to that come closer. That was that rule I was telling you guys about earlier. If you're closer to the ball, you're going to win the challenge most of the time. If you're further, you're probably not going to win it. So don't go for it. That was just me getting it on target there. So good job to go on the wall for that. Not the best hit down, his teammate wasn't ready, but good read for my teammate. Good second touch. I'm just gonna fake challenge. I know I'm last back here. So again, I can't really push too far forward for this. My teammate's not behind me to support, so I'll wait for him. I pass to the left. Good shot, good try. I pass to the right here. That was a good challenge. I went for the bump. That's fine. I'll grab mid boost across. You always want to kind of rotate across from where your teammate is. Again, he's closer, so I, I can't challenge that ball quite yet. I hit that to the side of my teammate. I on to see if he'd turn, but he couldn't. Good 50. To try on that. I'm going to see if he panics. Yeah. I just wanted to see how he would deal with the ball like that. Like, he's going to expect me to be close there, so I'm not going to panic to that. There's no reason to. I'll wait for his touch, if anything. I could obviously instantly go for it, but if he's going to get a touch that pops straight up, then, uh, you know, I could just react to that one anyway. What did he say? I didn't get to read it. Ain't no way you're champ two. Legit felt like 1v2 and you embarrassed us. See, that's not what I'm trying to do, but I just don't, I can't find a, a good balance of, of the two, man. I really can't. It's such a hard thing to find a balance of like going too hard or going just to the right amount. And I like in this rank, it's weird because I know everyone's kind of capable of hitting the ball well. So I try to hit the ball well as well, and it's like, I'm doing too much because it's just muscle memory. If I'm in a position to do something, I'm going to do what's probably best for that position most of the time. So it's all muscle memory. It's very hard to break out of that for me. I'm trying my best though. So I, I, I didn't mean to, to make it feel like I was just won't be too in, but either way, GG. Let's get into the next one, and that's going to be the last for the video. And we should end up super, super close to uh, champ three after that. Probably finish at like... 1370 something we're at 1351 right now so let's queue up for the next one and let's see if we can finish out the video with another one let's go all right this is interesting we got a champ three on our team 
This will be fun to see. And almost a champ to another team. He was a season 11 grand champ. He was a season 10 grand champ on our team. And then uh, we got a champ one as well. Almost champ to another team. But they're hitting aerials. Teammates, champ three, like I said, just got champ three. So let's see what we see out of him. Already like a lot more consistent. I'm gonna pop that up there and I'll leave. Again, I'm gonna make sure I follow those two rules. If I'm last back, they're closer to the ball. I'm not gonna go, he's closer. I'll react to it. Yeah, decent 50. My teammate can go for this. I don't wanna cut him off here. It's fine. <laughs> unlucky very unlucky I didn't want to touch that again to be honest that guy probably shouldn't even have went as last bag for that but at the same time I wasn't even trying to touch that ball I kind of just hit it into him slightly unlucky in all honesty hit it across to my teammate here okay he wasn't ready he didn't grab the boost Might be in, might also be wide, but it was still fast enough to, to mess that guy up. But I was trying to hit that across where my teammate was, and I noticed that there's still a lack of just being able to read the gameplay. Like, this guy just reached champ 3, and he sees that I'm going toward the ball with speed, and he's not ready to turn for boost or turn for the ball there. You should kind of use your open space and recognize where everyone is on the field. And he, he didn't do that there. That's a... Uh, Big mistake that I already I already see quite a few times out of these players, and again, the lack of like being able to read the gameplay. Like, look what and the boys does here. He goes on the wall. He notices he's going at the ball with speed here. It's gonna chip off the wall. He he should know that, and he's just kind of defending the wall instead of defending the goal. So he should be staying like around near post in the goal there, or staying close close to the goal at least on the wall that way you can save something like that it's not that hard of a shot to save he just wasn't in a good position to save it he's closer so I'll wait it's awkward so I'll wait for the bounce to come down he has to come to me there I know that so there's no reason for me to panic I'll wait again I'm last back for a while my teammate's stuck right there so why am I going to challenge this ball and get beat where I can take it back I know my teammate's going to grab the cross boost I'll touch this one more time just over this guy it's wide open now go but yeah a lot of a lot of twos is about dealing with when you're last back in the best way possible it's really what it is if you're in a position where you see your teammate just landed on their side don't dive in for a challenge because what's that challenge really going to do for you you got to ask yourself that if i challenge this ball what's going to come of it i'll show you guys another example in a sec i can go for this even though my teammates on that side i know i Easily beat that guy to that ball. There we go. That's the one scenario when you should go is when the ball's coming toward me, I'm closer in that spot. So I'm gonna go. That's my green light the challenge. I know I'm closer to the ball, it's coming toward me. I have momentum, they don't. So I know I can win that ball and I can also get a shot of it. My teammate can go. I'll wait middle if you can get anything for me. Alright, he's there for left boost. So I'm gonna fake challenge first. He still has full control of his ball here, so. I'm trying to let him give that back to me by not even challenging. I'm just fake challenging until he does. If I can 50 this, it's more than enough. Okay, teammate can go. And I'll try to play off his touch here. Got a bump on him. That's good. Close for my teammate. Trying to hit that around him and grab his boost as well. Close. Good save though. He didn't panic. That was really good. In the last game, someone was panicking with that. That was the, the higher rank player. Didn't panic for that ball. Oh yeah, one more touch here. Nothing crazy. Okay, my teammate went as well. No problem. Probably didn't expect me to have another. But again, he's closer, so I'm gonna bait up the touch here. Now shake the ball back for free. Leave that there. Grab the boost. Good touch. Teammate can grab this for free. Nice. Oh wait, he's closer, so I'll wait for shot. Good job for my teammate though, it's actually really really good aerial there. Nicely done. He pre-flipped off the wall to touch that around him. That's kind of what I've been doing here as well. Kind of trying to use those pre-flip touches around them. Not doing anything too over the top, but like I said, champ players can do it, it's just a lack of consistency in doing it. So 
can go up. So I pre-jumped that. I'll try this down. Didn't come off the wall enough. Good page just for my teammate there. I do like that he went back there. Nice touch. Nice. That's literally a free goal, but I wanted to see if my teammate was going to go for the, the solo play. Wait for Shadi. I'm not going to panic because it's probably not going to be a fast shot from that angle. Nice touch. And again, teammates going up the right corner. What am I going to do? I'm going to try to head middle here just to see if we can create a play of some sort. Close. If I can kill one here, that opens up some space. Couldn't quite kill him, but I got the bump. Play this to the wall. See what they do. If I play it off left to my teammate, it's perfect. He has space now. If he bangs this, good. One more. So I can take his back. So my teammate's still in their half. I know that I'm killing time for him at this point. Ooh, couldn't quite because I got bumped. But yeah, again, my teammates would be in a lot of like 1v2 situations where I have to take it back or I have to put myself in a weird spot. And if I didn't get bumped there, I would have had that still. Like I would have been able to get it across. But his issue is he's going for a lot of balls where there is really no advantage to going for that challenge. He's just going for it because he feels as if it's the right way that he should be going for it. But he could just fake challenge a lot of the balls that he's going for and get the ball for free without losing his position. And that wouldn't... That wouldn't leave me in 1v2s because he's still there to back me up. But I've had at least like 5 or 6 1v2 situations this game. And that was the one time that I couldn't quite get out of it because I got bumped a little bit on the wall. Again, he's kind of stuck in their half here. Trying to stall time. Teammate can go. Nice. Teammate should have this. Forward. One more goal. I believe. Never mind. He just killed it. All right. I think we're going to call it there, but we'll see where we end up. My teammate played pretty solid. I can't complain. There's a few mistakes here and there. It's mainly just challenging, which every single person in this rank has an issue with challenging. And even in Grand Champ, you see it a lot. But yeah, he was Champ 3. There's two Champ 3s in that lobby. We got up to Champ 2 Division 4 off of that. We're 1373. In the next video, we'll reach Champ 3. So we're getting so close to Grand Champ now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for all the support, literally all the brand new subs. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for just the incredible support on this series. You guys have absolutely loved it. And uh, I can't wait for the next series after this one. Like I said in the previous video, it's going to be a ton of fun, I think. And it's a super original idea as well. Came up with it like a week or two ago, and I really want to get it started. So I can't wait. I'll announce all that when, whenever we're done the Road to Grand Champ series. But thank you guys so much for the insane support. If you guys aren't subscribed right now, like I said at the beginning of the video, go down and check and let's change that hit the subscribe button so you're always notified when i upload a new video make sure you hit the bell as well and uh, yeah have yourself a wonderful day or night whatever time zone you're in right now watching this like comment and of course like i said subscribe peace